Do you fool around with crafts at home? Maybe you make something like this? <laughs> or maybe you make scarves or whatever, or jewelry? Well, here's an interview I did with this nice young fellow who actually went on the web, he designed some jewelry pieces that he thought was cool, and he raised like six, seven thousand dollars on the internet to make more of these pieces of jewelry for everybody. You know, instead of knocking on doors and going around, you know, stores to try to sell this or on these, you know, craft sites or whatever, here's a way to get money for your craft, to make the crafts, and I would start a complete business doing it. And actually, it's probably the first fellow I found, you know, in studying these crowdfunding sources that really used it for a craft business. And he's really an artist, too. I mean, he's a delightful fellow, and he has, he's into all kinds of art, but he just sort of like playing around with jewelry. So if you're making jewelry or something, or crafts or anything like that, and need money to kick that business off the, <laughs> off your kitchen table or whatever it is, watch this video. Well, Alistair Yep, and the Eight of Diamonds Sparkle Edition on Kickstarter, the most elegant pendants I think I've ever seen. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, they're just delightful to look at. And I hope people at least go to Kickstarter and go to Ada Diamonds and watch your video. Because Thank you. you show and explain about what these eight, I didn't know there were eight basic, you know, forms of that diamonds come in that are cut in. Yeah, right? I mean, these are just, um, they're just eight of the shapes that are the most popular in uh -huh. the diamond industry. So I just thought, you know, if everyone loves them so much, maybe they'll like a pendant. <laughs> well, they obviously do. I mean, <laughs> you're only halfway through, and you're only a stone's throw away from your 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 uh, you know uh, budget or, or uh, goal you. already. And it looks like you're gonna make it easy. But also, I see that you're like the only artist I've seen and jewelry artist on Kickstarter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's maybe um I'm always for trying to, you know, be the forefront of of design and being in my uh area. So, uh -huh. yeah, I, when I when Kickstarter opened up in Australia, I just went, you know, let's just give it a go. Wow. Um and see what so, see what happens and the response has been pretty amazing. Uh, well, I mean, actually as an artist and a young man like you, uh, it must be a thrill to see, God, look at you. you got all these people now all over the world that want your work. I exactly. Mean, um, wow. It gives you a bit of, uh, yeah, it gives you a bit of, you know, rest to know that, you know, oh. the designs are working. Uh, people obviously like what yeah. you're doing. Um, yeah, I think that it's oh, been really yeah, good. That's better. That's, that's better, better than, than Dad saying great, great work, work even. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> You got people putting up money for it. That's real positive feedback. Yeah, you got, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to know you're doing something right. Yeah. But it, so it's to good. me, it's interesting now on these crowdfunding sites that artists can do something like this instead of going exactly. like, what is that, ITSTE or, or these, you know, where people sell jewelry and things like that. Yeah. They're not really yeah. crowdfunding sites. And, and this is a crowdfunding site that, uh, I mean, like having a six thousand dollar sale like that. I mean, that, that's fantastic. And you said eighty percent of the sales you had is really just from general traffic on Kickstarter and not your people, right? Pretty much, yeah. Uh -huh. And I think that's uh, one of the reasons I went on was to try and reach a wider yeah. audience. So yeah, it was it's pretty good statistics. Well, what what's inside you that said, "Hey, I think I want to design jewelry." Uh, yeah, I guess um, I started making jewelry when I was quite young. Really? But it was just like, yeah. Um, but <laughs> it was like kind Superman of more like rings or what? <laughs> yeah, like beading stuff, you oh, know, really? with wire and beads and things oh. like that. And and I guess like I kind of got a bit, you know, sick from only being able to make stuff that was in the shops and putting uh. things together. And um, and then yeah, I decided to to go into jewelry design. Wow. So. Did you study yeah. this in school or what? Yeah, actually, we studied in high school. I think it was year nine or year ten. We had a jewelry um, wow, making class. Wow, really? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. moving to Australia. We would never have that here in the States. <laughs> hey, it was just an elective unit. I see. And, <laughs> and with that elective unit, I just kind of shelved it until I finished what we call, we call our TE here, which uh -huh. is um, you sort of your university ranking. Um, and then when I went to uni, I did a Bachelor of Arts in Jewelry Design. So. Oh, I see. So you, you actually yeah. got a degree in Jewelry Design. 
Huh. Yeah, I get pretty. Yeah, I got pretty serious in it. Yeah, but well, now why? I mean, you know, you could. Just, there's so many things to design, and you said as a kid you were interested in that. But, but what gives you, you know, the satisfaction uh, of, of doing that? Or I mean, what what is, you know, I, I, art's a very personal thing. I know, and I'm, I'm just trying to understand more. Yeah, sure. Um, well, I've mean, always been busy with my hands and uh -huh. um, jewelry is quite an intricate and fine mm -hmm. sort of craft that you need to have. Um, so uh, that in alone is a, quite a challenge for me. So, you know, producing something you know, right. this big, um, uh, but doing it well as well. Um, but also, you know, you get to use finer materials as well, which uh, has another level of, you know, materiality. So, you know, whether it's platinums, diamonds, wow. you know, silver, all that sort of stuff. So I kind of, yeah, I mean, it was kind of fashion design, uh, architecture, uh, or jewelry design. I, um, so jewelry is where I'm at. Yeah. But, but I kind of fashion, fashion itself. And the way you're using jewelry is sort of architecture. Yeah. So you're really yeah, putting like, it all into jewelry, aren't you? Yeah, that's what I've kind of realized in the last couple of years is that I've ended up hitting all of those, but I'm just doing it with jewelry. So, so yeah, all, no, it's really good. All that education wasn't useless after <laughs> all. That's right. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. And so you're on Kickstarter for a while. And so people look, you know, you, you got to look at these pendants because they're uh, unique. I mean, I, I don't buy a lot of jewelry. I'm a guy, but... Uh, I, I've been on home shopping networks. I have a lot of jewelry, and I've never seen anything as fine as this. You know, oh, thank and, you. And that's why I think people should see it. It's unique, and, and with the uh, you know the simulant that they're comes have, inside. Yeah, they can have a stone inside. Yeah. So um, I think I've always just wanted to make jewelry a little bit different from yeah. the norm. So. Um, always trapping something inside or people see something like how is that being made right, they, they right, kind right. of no, questions like, it a little bit more you know, every piece of the pendant is like a bird in the cage you know but it's exactly. really a, a jewel in a little cage yeah that, it is it, it is it, yeah it's, it's beautiful yeah so Thank the you. way to see, get to you is either through Kickstarter while that campaign's on it, and if the campaign's gone, then we go to, what's your website you want to use? Alistriat.com.au. Al Al ah, that's what I thought it was. I knew it was that. <laughs> Well, you're a delight, and thank you so much for doing this work, and I, I hope you have continued success and people adorn their life with your creativity because it's thank certainly you very worth much. it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. See, we all have a hobby. We have something we love to do. So if you're putting your love into something, you know, that, then other people may want that. And this is a way to find out if they really want what you're giving your heart and soul to. Because if it's a craft or something you're doing for love, you know that's special. So how do you find out the people who think that's special too? And the way to do that, really, on, on these sites, where you get money doing it.